religious Jews in multiple cities around the world to speak up not just for Al-Quds, Jerusalem, not just for Gaza, but for all of Palestine. Jews around the world, including in occupied Palestine, are deeply embarrassed when all of this is being done in supposedly in our name. It is a desecration of God's name when the Jewish religion is being misused to justify all these crimes. Judaism forbids the occupation of Palestine, the existence of the state of Israel, and all of its criminal atrocities. According to the fundamental Jewish beliefs, Jews are in a divinely decreed exile and are forbidden to create their own state by human power. But when the state is achieved by murdering, oppressing its original inhabitants, and stealing their land, this is a clear and dramatic violation of many other laws of Judaism. Yeah! Yeah! The state of Israel does not represent world Jewry nor the Jewish religion. Judaism is a religion to serve God, while Zionism is a political movement. In order to see an end to the tragic cycle of bloodshed, we must have a total dismantlement of this entire occupation. We pray that this should be peaceful with no more suffering of anyone. At this time, we can hope to see that the peace that did exist in Palestine before the invention of Zionism be restored. Zionism, yes. Zionism, no. Brother Khaled Barakat is a Palestinian from Jerusalem, born and raised in Al-Quds. He, he has deeply explored and written about his city, Jerusalem. He also is a co-founder of Masar Badil, the Palestinian Alternative Revolutionary Path Movement. Despite facing spirit campaigns by Zionist organizations in the U.S. and Europe, he continues to work with strength and resilience. Please join me in welcoming Brother Khaled Barakat. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan Mubarak. We are really proud of you, our beloved community of Toronto. You are truly Toronto for Palestine. 
Let me begin by saluting our people in Gaza who have been steadfasting for the past six months fighting war crimes and genocide. We here today sending our salute to every worker in Gaza, every nurse, every teacher, every doctor, and every fighter who's carrying his gun in Gaza. Today, we want to salute the leader of the Palestinian armed resistance, Muhammad al-Tayyip Abu Khalid. And we tell him, as Palestinians everywhere are chanting, everywhere, in the West Bank, in Jerusalem, in Gaza, in the entire Arab world, hold this distance in Lebanon, Sayyid Hassan Nasrallah. And we tell him that today, today, the camp of resistance is united like it never been. I have personally stood on the stage last year, and I say that we support unconditionally the camp of the resistance in our region led by Sayyid Hassan Nasrallah. Zionists can say whatever they want. They can spread fears. They can smear campaigns day after day against us. That will not deter us from declaring our full support of the Palestinian and Lebanese resistance. Today, we want to send a message to our brave brothers in Yemen who have been coming in millions every Friday declaring their full support of their brothers and sisters in Palestine. Today, we want to stand in solidarity with our people in Iran and with Iran and we are demanding that Iran respond to Israeli crimes in Damascus. Today this is the resistance of people across the Arab world, the Muslim world, across the globe. Palestine is liberating everyone. Palestine is liberating our voices, our will. Palestine is liberating humanity. Today, we want to tell the entire society here in Toronto and Canada that we stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters in the indigenous native people and their struggle in this land. We stand with the struggles of the workers and the labor unions of this land and of the student movement in these in Canadian campuses. Today, our message is that Palestine is not the cause of just the Palestinian people. Palestine is the cause of everyone who is seeking justice and truth. So if you fight against racism, you actually fight for Palestine. If you fight for the rights of the workers, you are fighting for Palestine. If you are fighting for the people in Venezuela and Cuba and Bolivia and Latin America, you're fighting for Palestine. If you are standing in solidarity with the Black Liberation Movement in the States, then you are fighting for Palestine. If you stand for Africa to preserve its resources and the people of Africa to be the masters of their world, you are fighting for Palestine. is not just a cause or a conflict between Palestinians and Israelis. The reason that Palestinians have been fighting for 75 years and until now they are fighting this 
genocide and war crimes is because our people have been fighting imperialism and United States in particular, this imperialist power that is standing behind Israel. Funding Israel, providing military, political, and all kinds of supports for Israel. But the Palestinian people are determined when October 7th, they launch their new revolution. Every 20 years, Palestinians launch an intifada or an armed re revolution. Every 15 to 20 years, Palestinians stand up and say that we will not abandon our land, our rights. We will return to Palestine and we will liberate every inch in Palestine. is the fight for the Quds. Our message today, if you want to support Palestine, you can do that in three small practical steps. One, boycott Israel and all the companies that deal with Israel. One of those companies are the infamous Scotia Bank that is investing $500 million in Israeli military industrial company, Elbit System. So close your accounts in Scotiabank if you have an account there. And tell them why you're doing this. It is important that we today start looking for ways to fundraise for our people in Gaza. If you have a friend or a family or a cousin that you can send money to, you should support that person in Gaza in the face of famine and starvation and genocide. They want to impose these laws against our people in Palestine and to say that funding people in, our, in, in Gaza is a material support for terrorists. They can go to hell. We will fundraise for Gaza. We will fundraise for the health sector in Gaza and for the education system in Gaza. And we will rebuild Gaza again. Brothers and sisters, it is important to have a clear position today on Palestine. Those shaky hands and shaky positions will not liberate Palestine. What liberates Palestine is a clear vision, is a strategy for liberation, is supporting the armed resistance in our region. That's who we are we counting on. We do not count on futile negotiations and this PA, Palestinian Authority, collaborators with Israel. They can go to hell. So brothers and sisters, it's a one movement. Palestine is creating this international one movement. And it's important for Palestinians to feel that they are being supported, not with conditions, but supported unconditionally. And last, I want to say that Canada position needs to change. And it will not change without your position and our position and our role. The role that people and masses are able to create. So do not vote for those who did not support Palestine in that parliament. I don't care if they're Muslims or not. If they did not support Palestine, don't support them. Vote for those who support Palestine. Vote for Palestine in the next elections. Vote for Palestinian freedom, for justice, for Palestinian liberation. That your vote will count. And only then, Palestinians will respect that vote. So practice that right. But don't vote for half-ass politicians. Hello. Please help me welcome Brother Ali Mullah to the stage. My dear sisters, friends, brothers and comrades, this is the last time Khalid Baratat speaks before me.
He left me nothing to say. But I have a lot in my heart to say to you. Thank you to every single one of you here and for the people who couldn't stay and left. Thank you to the young sisters and younger brothers and to people from every walk of life who are standing up for Palestine. Thank you for the rabbis and the lovely little children and imams and everyone, people of faith or no faith, but we all are partner in faith of the humanity and dignity. Thank you all. My friends, I'm fasting, so I have to keep, I have to keep my tongue. Otherwise, I would have a lot to say to all those politicians, from City Hall to Ottawa, to those spineless politicians who are so annoyed by our rallies. I would have said shame on you, but they have no shame. They have no shame. They have no honor. They have no values. For 180 days, more than 40,000 people killed, 75,000 people injured. The whole health sector, hospitals been destroyed, and those people are angry with our rally. Well, next time we will rally at your homes, at your offices, at your offices, to, to await whatever left any shred of your conscience if you have one. But you, brothers and sisters, and peoples around the globe, make them change. You remember from day one, day one we called for ceasefire. And they didn't listen. When this week, Biden, Udo, whatever the guy in the British says, you know, Germany, they are talking about ceasefire. Hello, ceasefire, you know, and you are not going to implement it with a phrase and with force that like, is the Palestinian who are less and cheaper than water to you. They are criminals! They are criminals! They are racist! They are racist! It took seven, eight more to be killed by Israel and the whole world woke up. We're sorry for their life to be wasted, but that what caused the so-called leader to wake up. Even the mainstream media did not name the Palestinian driver and the Palestinian volunteer who was because they are racist. It is in their blood, and you shouldn't be afraid of saying. Because, my dear brothers and sisters, no one, no one is free as long as one of us are chained. And no one, no one can make us feel inferior without our consent. And we will never, ever consent as the Palestinian people for 75 years never consented to occupation and they continue resistance. And final thing, you will read in some yellow newspaper like the Post and the Sun and all that garbage, or you will see some on the mainstream talking about, you know, pro Hamas. We are pro resistance. We are, we are pro we are pro humanity. We are pro dignity. We are with the people who fight their occupiers by any means necessary. People who are occupied, it's international law and it's a symbolic law. Have the right to fight their occupiers by any means necessary. I don't want to dignify them by saying their name. But I will tell 
organizations who are Zionist. Take your crap and eat it and take your garbage and shut it. You support of the pension because you are a bloodthirsty. We support resistance because we live life. We love life. Palestinians love life. We do love life. We feel the pain of others. We are so attached to the human elements and our feelings. That's why their pain is our pain. So finally, my dear brothers and sisters, and I honestly feel I want to talk to you more and more. But it's Ramadan. People have to go prepare their fast. And you've been here for a couple hours. My utmost love and respect to you all. And on behalf of our Buddhist committee and the partners, PYM, the World Forum Palestine, and all the groups who are helping us and work together, we thank you. We thank you. will be coming from our activists of the Palestinian young people and we love them because finally Alhamdulillah we have some young girls and boys taking the torch and leading the way and we support them. Also, also please come. we will have we will have a huge gathering for that Al-Nakba Day and the power day. Okay? I don't want to call it Nakba. I call it the continuous resistance to occupation under Palestine is free from the river. We saved the young are not tired. Are you guys tired? Even though some of us are fasting, but we still are not tired. Brother Khalid, Khalid, Brother Khalid, he mentioned, you know, we look up to our leaders. They said, who you surround yourself with, who you become. These are the leaders we look up to. He said that from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. This is a chant we carried from our leaders. However, the young generation, they came up with different chant a little bit. So we say, from the river to the sea. My sister lost her wallet, and I don't want to say the full name, but I will say NM. If she's around, please come to see me. Otherwise, I will leave it with the PYM because they are more well spread on social media than me. Okay, so we have the wallet, we have the ID, and if you're still around, come see me. Okay, thank you. If it has more money, I'll take it. <laughs> this is just the fight in South Lebanon. We are saying resistance is just the fight in Yemen. We are saying. Resistance is just a void in Iraq. We are saying resistance is just a void in Syria. Resistance is just a void. Dear brothers and sisters, as we unite here today for a cause close to our hearts, we'd like to remind you that this event is brought to life through the dedication and generosity of the volunteers and organizers. To support and offset the costs associated with today's gathering, we warmly invite you to contribute. Volunteers are circulating with donation boxes for your convenience. And you can also send your support via e-transfer at alcudstoronto at gmail.com, which is A-L-C-U-D-S-T-O-R-O-N-T-O -O -O at gmail.com. Every donation, big or small, helps us continue our mission. Thank you for standing with us and for your generous, generous support. Thank you to each and every one of you for joining us at the 2024 Al Quds Rally. Your presence, your voice, and your unwavering commitment to justice and peace have echoed through the streets, touching hearts and inspiring change. Today we stood together, united in our call for freedom and justice for Palestine. We marched, we chanted, and we listened to powerful words from our speakers. Each message a reminder of the resilience and strength of the Palestinian people and their allies around the world. Let us carry the spirit of today's rally with us as we move forward. Let it inspire us to continue our advocacy, our support, our fight for a free Palestine. Remember our, remember our solidarity, our voice, and our actions can make a difference. 
In closing, I pray for peace, justice, and freedom for Palestine and all oppressed people worldwide. May our efforts contribute to a future where dignity, equality, and human rights are upheld for all. Inshallah, we will meet next year or sooner to celebrate a free Palestine. Thank you, and thank you, and may peace be upon you all. Free, free Palestine.